How are you guys doing today? My name is Wendell Bush, and I will be hosting your uh, webinar today. Uh, thank you for joining. Um, once again, my name is Wendell Bush, and I'm a senior technical specialist with uh, ATG. Um, and today I will be showing you um, how to use property uh, data sets to label uh, any still 3D object. So let me switch over to my screen here. <clears throat> Okay, and hopefully you guys are all seeing my screen. Um, let me try it one more time here. There we go. So, um, so a lot of us have, have um, um, worked with, some of us in, in, in general have worked with um, data that have come from uh, GIS and, and, and stuff. And so um, by using, um, um, Defined property sets. Um, this particular tool will allow us to basically um, attach data tables to our, our objects and and put in custom content, um, which is really nice because you know um, as we've seen in the past, um, you know here's here's a great example of of receiving some drawing um, from another source. Um, we have not been able to essentially um, label that content or even attach that data to to civil 3d objects and here's the, here's an example of what i'm talking about so here's here's a, here's some line work that was brought in from gis um, and if you right click on it and you look at the properties this is where you'll see um, this object data and so you know this is this is data source coming from gis um, and so, so this allowed you to kind of take a look at it. But part of the problem is, is being able to label that information, or even if you convert that to civil 3D objects. And so with that being said, um, now we have that ability to do that. Um, so if we take a look at, <clears throat> basically I have a, a you know, uh, a site plan here. And this, this defining property data sets is a great way to, you know, if you're in that preliminary stage of, of laying out utilities um, and, and you don't have quite have the survey yet, you know, this is, this is the great way to kind of plug in that information until you get the survey um, and, and then allow you to, to throw those labels on there. And what we've typically seen is, you know, that line work, we will place a label on it, um, you know, the line, you know, uh, there may be some adjustments to the, to the line work and and we have a static label and so we're constantly kind of battling that going back and forth with the label and the changing of the information and so um, where that where we stand with that is how do you do that so if you go to your 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 manage page this is how you there's there's a, you go to the manage page and there's defined property sets okay and so this will allow you to basically assign um, and create tables and assign those to your objects. And then within that data set, um, that, that table, we'll be able to, we'll be able to label objects and, and have dynamic labels. And so I'm gonna show, start off by showing you, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and I have uh, some tools here, um, my CTC tools, and I'm gonna go show you guys a prime example of that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit this label genie here. And what this this particular tool here is is this will allow me to go in quickly, throw some labels on, um, you know, um, some some dynamic labels, okay, and label some of our additional our, our line work, okay. So um, you know we have a drawing objects tab and we have a formatting tab, and so essentially <clears throat> we'll be able to you know so what type of drawing? We say current drawing, some settings here. You know we can say. Uh, label entire model space, uh, layout tabs, all viewports. But in my case, you know, and we can also in the, in the right hand side of this, we can set up templates and styles. And so um, I already have some stuff set up here. And so the label type I'm going to use to label this, basically what I have is, is um, some 2D line work and some poly lines and some pipes. Okay. And so I'm going to quickly use this particular tool to label that information um, really quickly. So um, one of the things I like to do, since they're, they're, they're um, polylines and, and line segments, I, I'm going to use the general note, okay? 
And so the line type, I'm going to use this general note, okay? And it could be, and then this is being pulled from Civil 3D, okay? Um, I can use line curves, okay? So label type, you know, we're just looking at all the settings coming from Civil 3D. Okay, so I'm going to use this general note. This is one of the little tricks that I have up my sleeves, but we could use this line curve, okay? And so what are we going to anchor to? I'm going to say, well, we're going to anchor to this line, okay? So uh, we have some other choices here. We could do polylines, alignments, um, arcs, assemblies, blocks, feature lines, hatches, and lines. So I'm going to use lines here, okay? And I'm going to hit this little three-dot carrot here. So I'm going to go select my, my object really quick, okay? And so I can also do selection by layer, okay? So this also appears into your drawing and allows you to um, pick by layer, okay? But I'm gonna pick on screen, okay? And we could say exclude, uh, we could basically pick on layer description, okay? So I'm gonna pick my objects on screen here, okay? And let me see here, get a little, There we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna try by layer here because it's, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on here, let me back out of this real quick, real quick. Oh. Uh, my apologies, I wasn't expecting that. Let me get going again here real quick. So while that's, that's initializing, so, what I'm doing here is essentially I'm going to label, um, do some some quick labeling. And I'm just going to lay out some, I'm using this general note um, label style that I've created. And then um, what I'm going to show you is now once I get the, um, the label labeled, I mean the object labeled, okay? Give me a second to get going here and find my drawing. Um, I'm going to apply a quick label. Now, this is just one of many ways to label these objects, of course. And then once I get that labeled, I'm going to basically apply my table, my object table, data table to that. And so show you some things there, but let me go back to my my labeling tool here real quick. <clears throat> there we go. And so I'm gonna go lines curves, okay. And I'm gonna pick my objects here on screen. So I'm going to pick this blue line, okay. I'm gonna, let me do this one minute. Let me back up real quick. I'm gonna do this. Equip some of the stuff off my computer. All right. There we go. There we go. This is what I want to show you here. So we go label genie. Okay, I'm gonna pick these objects. So I'm selecting the objects to label really quickly here. Okay, it says three selected and I'm gonna not doing it by layer. Okay, let me hit okay. So I'm gonna go to, go to the formatting tab, okay? So the style that I'm using is the general note and I have, um, so we have markers, so we can do a marker. Okay, and I've predefined so some label styles already. So this one's called existing water. So I'm gonna hit add update. It says this will add three labels and delete four labels, proceed yes, okay. Boom, so quickly I've got, I've got some labels attached to this, to this basically this 2D line work, okay. So that was something I quick, quickly want to show you, but. The idea here is to, um, I'm, you know, is to show you how now I can go back over to, um, <clears throat> let me go to the home tab, okay? And if you go to the manage tab here, this is where you're, you're gonna be able to define that property set. So think of it as, as creating a table and 
you're applying a table to an object, so which can be anything, okay? So if you hit this define property sets, okay? So just quickly, um, I have a drawing open, so it just knows um, how many drawings you have open essentially. And I've already got a, let's just take a quick look at this. And so I already have a, a property set defined, okay? And so, um, and this one is just basically, it's just general is the name, it has three tabs, general and applies to. And this is the key component here when you're creating these tables. Um, as you can see, I have, I have a whole slew of things that I can attach this, this data to. So essentially what we're doing is we're, we're, we're saying, okay, I have a line on screen and I want to basically all these things I can attach and I can, and I can filter this out as well too. I'm saying, you know what, no matter what it is, um, you know, I'm doing select all. Um, I have the ability to assign my data table to. And so we've got labels we can assign. Um, the list is very long. And so these are all the properties and objects that we can assign these, these, these data tables to. Um, in my case, I have a line, so I have that check. But in my case, I'm gonna leave them all checked because I also wanna show you how we can attach these data tables um, to other objects also in addition to lines, um, pipes, structures, labels, uh, the list is, is very long here, say, okay? And I'm gonna go back and show you how to create one of these tables. Okay, hit apply, okay? And so the definition, we look at the definition. Um, basically uh, in my table, um, I want the condition um, and owner, okay? And this, this, this list can be, you know, whatever you want it to be. But in my case is the description is, um, you know, condition and owner and what type of information when I when I essentially um, get to this point I want text I want to be able to enter text and we hit okay okay so now if you click on your object okay um, and you can select as many objects as you want to but in this case I'm going to do this 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 uh, I have this existing water line here okay and if you right click and you go properties Okay. So now what I'm doing is that table that I have created, okay, um, in the defined property sets, I'm going to attach that table to this object, okay? So here's the one that I just recently created, okay? So I only have the one at the moment, okay? And it's check, meaning that this is the table that I want to use, okay? Okay. So now, if you look in the extended data tab, this is where this is gonna show up in the extended data tab here. I now have that table, um, that table that I'm now, I'm using this existing structure table, okay? And those are the two fields that I put in. I have condition and owner, okay? So now you notice off to the right is kind of grayed out, okay? So this is where I said text. So now I can enter those values for that for that information i'm going to say fair and we're going to say owner uh, city uh, loss Vegas. okay so now what i've now what i've done now okay so these three objects that i've just currently selected um, and you'll see the grips there so i've selected the water line um, i'm basically assigning that data table to these objects, okay? So where's the power in that, okay? So if you click on any one of these lines, there's the data. Now you can have as many tables as you want assigned to your objects, okay? But my, my label is not reflecting that, okay? Um, if we go to one, I, I purposely did not select it, that does not have any extended data attached to it, okay? So now if I come back over here, I can attach that table to that, okay? And so you'll see that where that's blank, okay? Because I entered this before. So the other thing I can do, I can right click and go select similar, okay? Now, I could have done it either way. I can, I can pick them individually, okay? Or one at a time, okay? So I'm gonna, and it says varies. So at this point, 
it says varies because I have some lines that have been entered with data and some that have not. So in this case, I would be overriding, okay? So that they're all the same. Okay, so now they all have that, that attribute definition property set assigned to it, okay? Now, here's the fun part. I want to be able to take that definition that I've created in this, this defined property set information and apply it to this label, okay? Um, and so there's quite a few ways you can do this. I showed you how I use the label genie um, and quickly um, apply some labels to it, okay? Um, but you could also go to your home tab. I'm sorry, go into your annotate. <clears throat> And these are lines, okay? Okay, you could label it that way. But in my case, I did a note, okay? Um, through label genie, okay? Um, but you could also label these lines through the um, line curve, okay? So just want to show you the, some of the things you can do here, okay? So I'm using this, this um, the label that I'm using is this water label style that I created earlier, okay? Now, if we go and we edit that label style, okay? Let's edit current selection, okay? And we have the information tab, the general tab, and layout tab. So we're more concerned about the layout tab, okay? And this is where I'm gonna take some of that information from our, our property uh, data set and apply it to our label, okay? So if we go into the contents, okay, there is that note label that I created earlier, okay? All right, and it has nothing else behind it. And then we have the format tab, the properties tab, where you can change some of these values. And then we have the property set tab, okay? Now there's the property set table that I created. I created this existing structure table, okay? And there are the properties from that table that I created, okay? So I can say, I can right click, put that to the bottom, we can say condition, and we can hit return again, <clears throat> and we'll say owner, okay? We hit okay, hit apply, boom, okay? And I think we lost our definition here, but no problem. Just make sure this is all going good. Back up here, let me try this one more time here. We have our definition. Sometimes this gets a little um, out of place on you. So I'm gonna say note. This is just another way of adding that label. All right. That's what I wasn't expecting, but anyways, um, we'll try, we'll move on. Um, but the goal here is to show you, um, let me go back in here and take one more look at this one more time. What's supposed to happen is it's supposed to read the data from the table. So what we entered was, was fair value and city of Las Vegas. So that's what's supposed to happen in this situation here. Add one more here. <clears throat> we'll try it one more time. All right, that situation is not working, but what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do a line curve. I'm gonna label it with this line curve, okay? And I already had some stuff set up, okay? So in this case, bypassing the note scenario, I'm just using this object data table label that I created and drag it out so you guys can see that. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to right click it on it and edit style. So I'm going to turn off, we're going to go to the, I created this. Um, so what this label is reading here, 
is basically bearing and distance, okay? So I'm gonna go down here to um, the object data table. So I'm gonna add some more additional information there. Go to my property sets here, use my table. And we'll add uh, owner. We'll have luck with this one, I hope here. There we go. Okay. So of course I can clean this label up what I can do. So now we see the condition, I said fair. So I can go back in here <clears throat> and clean this label up a little bit. So I can say, okay, let's freeze. Um, we have a tag here. We'll say, um, we'll go to direction arrow. Um, we'll say false on that. And then distance, um, we'll say false on that. So basically, I'm turning that information off. Okay. Now, oh, of course, this is in drag state. <clears throat> All right. Come on. Having troubles here. It won't uh, let me add another one here. Give me all sorts of problems here. There we go. Okay. So there's that label. Okay. Um, that I quickly created the table. Okay. And added some additional information to it via the um, <clears throat> via the defined property sets. Okay. So. Um, and this is just all this is, is just a line segment, okay? All right. And so what I created this label, uh, you know, off of basically a line label style, I created my own label, okay? And that label can be whatever you want it to be, okay? So this is just a line segment. And so if we look at the properties of this, okay? You can see the dynamic update, okay? So so how many tables can I have attached to an object? You can have as many as you want, okay? But I'm gonna go back in. And so my goal here was to show you that you can create a custom uh, label style. Um, my first attempt was to, to use the note um, and apply um, a data uh, condition in there. Um, but then I switched over to the line curves. And so this is just the lines curve label that I'm applying to this line work. So you can quickly, you know, if you're in the early stages of labeling and creating um, and doing some 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 preliminary utility mapping, um, you can take you basically utilize, you know, define property sets to get that information labeled as it changes throughout the project before you get the survey data. Okay. So I'm gonna go back into this, this, this defined property set, okay? And so I'm gonna create another one here. I'm gonna say new, okay? So I'm gonna show you quickly, Let me, you know, save that. So how do you get there? So if you go to the manage tab, find property sets. Now, when you're creating these, these, these uh, property set definitions, um, it's a good idea to have those probably, especially if it's an ongoing um, basis, you probably want to have those th these custom defined property sets set up into a template. Okay, and so when the user starts, these these tables are already pre-set up in your master template. Okay, um, that does not prevent any, you know, once you start a drawing or a project, it does not prevent um, the users from creating additional tables. Um, but at least from the, in the very initial phase of the project, they can have these predefined tables already set up. Okay. So I'm going to create one more here, two more. So you right click and you say new. Okay. And this one we're going to say um, manholes. <clears throat> okay. So it's just general, the name applies to. Okay, um, and you, you know, once again, is we have a whole list of things that we can attach that 
that table to. Um, you know, um, you got AEC civil 3D objects. So if you want to get uh, particular about what you're attaching that table to, you can. Um, let's see here, the, you know, pipe structures, okay, networks, label styles, okay. Um, you know, so even PDFs, you know, things like that. So you have a huge list of things that you can attach these, these data tables to, okay. But for now, I'm just going to select all, okay. And we say, okay, apply. Okay. And then we're gonna say definition. So this is where I start creating that 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 table, okay? So on this right hand, um, we said and manual property definition, okay? So what I'm gonna create here is a manhole. Um, we're gonna create a manhole ID or a manhole number. Okay, and these are the fields that I'm creating. I create another one here. We're going to say invert. And we're going to say um, type. Create another one here. We're going to say verified. Hit apply. Okay. So I'm going to create another one here. Okay. Right click. We're going to say new. And we're going to say for this one, um, we can say uh, sewer line. And these are just names. Okay. So you can see right now I can have more than one definition table um, that I can use to populate or add to my object in my drawing. Okay. And there's a name, applies to, I'm going to select everything. And then I'm going to start creating that, that table, the information that I want to use. We're going to say line number. And we're going to say, um, we can say material. We'll say type here. And we're going to say um, diameter. Line. It doesn't like spaces there. And then we're going to say uh, install date. Okay. Okay. All right. So here I have, you know, um, I showed you, um, you know, I was able to essentially take that 2D line, uh, create a label style, and if I right click on that, apply my extended data label, uh, table count information, and then create a label style and label that with, with that information, okay? So in this case, I'm going to select, okay, my manhole. And there, there are the the, uh, the three tables that I just created. Okay, so right now they're all checked, and so I can say, you know, uh, let's apply all tables, uh, property set tables to this object uh, by unselecting. Yeah, I can say manhole. Okay, so I'm going to say um, manholes and existing structure table. Okay, so. Right, you can see right there that I was able to attach those tables to the civil 3D object as well too. Um, so on the right here, you know, you can say condition and it's gonna be grayed out until you type in something, okay? So we'll see, we'll start filling it in, okay? 
Uh, we'll say unknown. Um, and, and we're, you know, say we're, you know, we don't know at this point what the invert is, um, but we can also leave that as, I'm going to just say U and K. And we'll just give it a manhole, we'll say uh, 42 for an ID. Um, we'll say unknown, we'll make those all caps there. Okay. And verify, we're going to say, um, maybe it hasn't, you know, maybe you're getting this information from from paper maps, um, GIS, um, and it hasn't been field verified. So you can say you can say um, no to that. Okay. Okay. So now I have civil 3D um, manhole, you know, uh, structure that has tables attached to it. Okay. And so maybe maybe I don't want um, one of these tables. Um, not attached to it. So I can quickly come here and say, remove property set, okay? And by unchecking that, one of those, that information will no longer, we'll, we'll say, we'll take this one away. Okay. Now I can go back and um, add it again. Okay. But unfortunately, I have to I have to type in the information again. Okay, so we're just going to quickly do that here, real quick. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, what if um, I want to? Um, you know, one of the things I could have done also is I could have did a select similar. So I right click select similar. If I did that early on, I could have quickly added all those tables to those objects. Okay. So select similar allows you to populate. Um, if you, if we would have did a select similar, I could have started typing in information and all the information would have been disseminated throughout, throughout all, all the structures there. Okay. But in this case, I did one before I did select similar. So, because the information changes. So I'm going to right click on that. Okay. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to, <clears throat> doesn't matter how you get there. You can go to your, your pull down or you can right click and you can add a label. Okay. And I'm going to switch that to um, here. We'll do, I'm going to come back here and add label. I'm going to go to annotate tab, add label. Okay. And I'm going to say network labels. Okay. And I'm not going to label the whole entire plan. I'm going to do single part. Okay. Um, do, 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 let's see here. Um, I want to do. I don't want to do the entire network here. That will do that. Okay. And we'll do structure. We'll say um, plan, existing plan. Okay. Pick the structure here, okay. And actually, um, I'm going to do this. I don't want to use that one here, but that, that's fine. I want to use name only, okay. That was the name that it was giving me, so I'm going to label a couple of these here so you guys can see. All right, let's go add a little bit, okay. All right. So there, I want to now take this this property set and apply it to this label here. Okay. So we know the object the object itself has this information, but what about the label? So it's the exact same scenario that we did here. So I can go into the label. Okay. Edit label style. Okay. Now um, this will take um, that content from the object data tables and apply it to the object. So I'm gonna edit this one, okay? Edit current selection, 
Okay. And I'm going to go into the text contents. Okay. I'm going to hit return. So I, I want to bring that information down to the bottom. Okay. So there's my existing table, a structure table, my manholes, and my sewer line. Okay. But right now I'm just going to use um, the existing. I'm going to say a uh, condition. And we can actually um, do this to it, kind of make it all fancy. My... <clears throat> Return again. And we could say owner. Maybe we want owner um, up here. So if you hit this little, um, that's the add arrow. Okay. Okay. And let's take a look at the other tables. We're going to say manholes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add that one. We're going to add invert. Okay. And we'll say, um, let's say verified. We'll add that one as well, too. So what we have here is we have a structure name, we have owner, condition, manual ID, invert, and verify, okay? So if you look at the code of this, um, all this information is coming from our uh, defined object property sets, okay? Tables. Hit okay. Is a little preview, hit apply. Hit okay. There you go, okay? We're going to move this guy out of the way here. So, um, you know, if you're in that early stage of, of base mapping, I mean, you don't have a whole lot of information at that point, and, and you're gathering, you're still kind of that, that investigative stage. Um, this is one way to, to take your civil 3D label and use property sets, um, you know, to label that information. And which is really nice about this is that, you know, as we, you know, as we get more and more information, you know, um, maybe it changes along the way, you know? Um, so, um, you know, um, this can be applied. And if I take the same, now you notice over here that it doesn't know what to put in there because I have not applied the property um, data set table to that. So if I was to come in here, you know, uh, so what I did earlier is I modified my civil 3D label to read that information. And so um, one of the things you can do maybe, you know, until you get that information, you can swap out the, you know, have two label styles. So I can come in here and say, you know, um, not use that label style and it could be something else. It could be manhole, but, Right now, it's it's giving you this all this code. So if you come down here, and this is how you apply those tables on this little left-hand corner of your properties, and you always be looking at the extended data tab, okay? And so now it's looking for input. So those the those are the two tables that have assigned to it, okay? <clears throat> all right. Now, maybe that information is different from the other one. Okay. Let me just put in some information here. Okay. All right. 
So essentially, we, can, um, we have two labels, okay? Reading tables, essentially, okay? So, which is nice because as I as as I progress through throughout through the project in this mapping phase, um, that would allow me to update this information. Now, these are these are civil 3D objects, okay? Um, and so these these are civil 3D labels, so that information will still be tagged to it, okay? All right. Um, this, um, you know, um, this is a great way of labeling information that is constantly changing until you get it all verified. Um, so by using these 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 property um, data sets here, um, you have these dynamic labels reading this information. And the one thing that is really nice, I created this line curve table here. This, this line, this line, this line label, okay. Let's see the other line here. I'm trying to find which line is it reading? It snaps off. So this is one way by using these tables that the information stays with it. So versus static labels, okay, and this is just this is just a line, okay, um, and I'm using a line curve label uh, to label that information. Um, that label stays with it, you know. Um, if I delete the line or change the contents, it will update automatically, okay. Um, and so I can have multiple label styles labeling that information. But the goal here is to show you that you know you can label lines, uh, pipe structures, okay, um, with these defined property sets, okay? And by having some type of label, um, you can basically read that property information off that object. And I'm gonna do one more here. Um, I have a pipe style, okay? <clears throat> Go to your Manage tab, okay? Now, I've already created this one, so how many of these property set definitions can you have? Um, you can have quite a few. Um, can they be one? You know, maybe you want all, all that um, information to be into one particular table. So, um, and you can actually right click, um, purge, copy, rename, okay, so you have the ability to change that content, okay? So I'm gonna use this sewer line uh, table here, okay? I'm gonna click on my object, okay? If you go to the extended data tab, nothing is there, okay? Um, go down to the lower left here, add property sets. Hit that guy. And it says, okay, you have three three tables um, that you can attach, okay? So I'm gonna use the sewer line one here, okay? So, Maybe in the early stages, you just created your pipe network, um, just trying to get things laid out. This is an existing line here. And you just don't know, you don't have a whole lot of information at this point in time. So I'm gonna attach this, you know, I'm gonna say eight inch. Okay. We'll just make up a date here. We'll say PVC here, okay. All right, so I've got this 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 pro property set assigned to this object here. Okay, right click. I'm going to add a label. Now, this is just the default label that I've added. But once again, is is I can come in here to this label style, or you know, um, and add that property set information to that label style. And yes, um, you would you know if you if you um, add this, this information to the label style and you're using that same label style throughout, um, you know, all the drawing or pieces, um, that information would be, those tables would be assigned, but you still have the ability um, to change the content. So we're gonna actually assign that one more. I'll show you what I'm talking about over here. Okay. Now I haven't put anything over there, okay. But now I need to edit the label style, or you could create a new label style. Okay. 
and I'm just going to copy this current selection. And we're just going to call it uh, project, OK? And I'm going to go to the Layout tab, go into the Contents, OK? And Description, I can say, I mean, and goes with that um, property set, OK? Use super line. We're going to add that guy. Material, we're going to add that one. Hit return. Okay. So by adding that in, in install date, okay? So I got sewer line, um, material number. Uh, diameter of line and install date. Okay. And we can customize this. We can put content, you know, um, other information in front of this, this, this code here, but I'm just going to hit okay. And you can see how the preview makes it all look crazy there. Okay. And there you go. I probably need a little bit of cleanup, but you can see now that 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 information is now tagged to the pipe. Uh, pipe 3D pipe itself, and so if I click on the the pipe style, okay, and that label is actually reading reading PVC as well too. But um, you know, maybe we can um, yeah, we can clean this up a little bit. But I think you get the idea. So this is this is real time, okay. All right. Now, if I go take a look at this other label, I'm going to <clears throat> click Add Label. Okay. So now you can see. How one label is reading um, the object data table information, and you have one label that is just reading uh, the um, the diameter and the material. So, so um, very dynamic um, way to populate lines, curves, um, pipe styles, pipe objects, um, any content that you feel that may need a data data table assigned to it, um, and then essentially allow you to update it and modify it as you're going along the way. Um, and so very strong tool. Um, you know, um, just note that when, when you save this drawing, this data table information stays with this drawing. So it is best to essentially have a template, start template, um, define all these, 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 uh, these, these property set definition tables. Um, and then as your users go along, um, they already have this stuff set up. Um, and then they just need to populate the information. Um, and so, um, but the, these are just a few examples of how you can take property set, define property set tables and assign them to some objects in the drawing. Um, really nice way of, of, especially in the preliminary stages of applying labels, you know, um, not using static labels, but using dynamic labels to to um, label information based on defined property set um, sets. So I think I have a question here. The question is, is if you add a property set with info to a pipe network manhole, if your data shortcut that manhole to a different drawing, will the property set come with it? And um, that's a good question. Um, it should. It should. Um, you know, I've I've copied it. You know, um, from one drawing to the next. Now the label style itself may get, um, you know, because now you're doing a data shortcut. But this information is data. You're assigning it to to the object, and it stays with the object. Um, and so. Even in the XREF situation, if you're labeling um, through XREFs, that property set definition is also assigned, it stays with it. So now it gets, if you start exploding those objects, 
um, that's when you lose the, the property set um, information. So hopefully that, that answers your question. But this is a great way I, 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 um, to label, you know, especially in the early stages, um, I highly recommend, um, it, it takes a little bit of setup, but not really that much because you figure out, you know, what your tables, how you, what your tables want to be. Um, it didn't take very much time for me to go on here and create a table. Okay. Um, and so, you know, how many can you have? As many as you want. Um, you can purge them out. Um, you can rename them. You can kind of get into the weeds of, of, of um, what it applies to. Okay, so if you you know you really want to kind of say it only applies to certain objects, um, that's another method you can use. You know, just you know for manholes only and only use certain certain um, objects. Okay, um, and so um, great great way of of that early stages of mapping, and and, and applying that information. Um, I think one of the other questions that somebody asked me is, can I take object data? Um, and and basically use this method. And, and for, unfortunately, we cannot insert, to my ability, is you cannot insert object data tables into the, the property set definition. So this is something new in the last couple of years that Autodesk has, has created. Um, and so there's, I can't say it won't happen, but right now there's no way to merge object data tables to the property definition set. So um, just to kind of jump on that one really quick, um, but um, pretty dynamic. Um, I think one of the another question was I have a block um, I can a, assign a, a definition table to that. Um, what I would probably use for that for a label is, is you know um, a tricky way of tricking it out is you create a note label style and you apply the definition tag to the to the label style. So you can see that that you know, the ability to to add any type of data tables to any type of object in Civil 3D. So. My name is Wendell Bush. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email is wbush at atgusa.com. And you guys have a great day and hope to hear from you soon. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.